Well, guys, Ferris is out, so we gotta go stay with Uncle Cheryl this weekend. I know how excited you are. Probably about as excited as they'll be when we just show on up over there. What's that, Fufu? No, we don't need to call. We just show up. It's Uncle Terrell. He'll take us in. Get ready for a fun-filled adventure, boys. There's that noise again, Pa. Yeah, I wonder where that's coming from. Someone's at the door. Huh. What do you want? Ah, slippers! What do you want? Oh, hey, you. Is there your daddy around? No, go away! Come on, let me in. The mother's down in Florida and my furnace is broke. Not my problem, beat it. Oh, come on, I ain't got no heat. I can't heat up some warm soup. Next door neighbor kid's stealing all my Wall Street journals. Terrell, come on, let me in. It's cold out here. It's just been for a couple of days. All right, all right, Slippers. You can stay here until your furnace is fixed, and then you're out of here. Yes, all right. We got a place to stay, guys. Out of my way. I was caught pneumonia standing up there. Oh, thanks, Terrell. You're the best. Uh, I'll stay out of your way. It's like you won't even know I'm here. Oh, Slippers, hold all your hair. This trailer isn't that big. Ah, uh, you'll be all right. Who's your friend, Slippers? Oh, these are my buddies. Well, this is my buddy Mike. He's a good friend of mine. Say hi to Terrell. Hi, Terrell. This is my buddy George. We go way back. And this is my good pal Barry. Say hi, Terrell. Hi, Terrell. Slippers. You're a weirdo. Everybody's got to have friends, Tarot. Well, why don't you stay at one of your friends' houses? Because they stay with me. Paul, why didn't you tell me it was dinner time? You know what time dinner time is. Uh, eating without me? I'm hungry. Pa, what happened? You eat all my Blastos? I thought I had a full box. I don't eat Blastos. I eat... Rancho, a tune-up for your taste buds. Now there's your dinner. Mmm. I think I know who ate them. Slippers! You eat all my glasses? Uh, no. Ah! Oh, 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 I don't feel so good. I don't think Pa's Rancho's agreed with me. Oh, oh. I gotta get to a bathroom! Ha! Ha! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Hey, Junior, what's going on? Get out of the way! I'm about to burst! Oh. Ah! No! Oh. No! 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 I gotta no. go! Ah! Slippers! Hurry up! Oh, it's gonna be a while. No! No! Oh! 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 Somebody's got a fussy stomach. Williams, looking for the paw four. What's this? Get this crap out of my way. I want to watch the Blade Man and Throttle season finale. What? Me and my friends are watching golf, so that's too bad. Watching golf? No. Blade Man season finale is on tonight. Let's get this crap out of Hey, hey, hey! Don't be touching my guys like that. I'll move them. Gee. Get them out of the way. My show's starting. All right. Johnson, uh. looking for a bird. Hey! We're watching that! Yeah! Hey! It's five against one, alright? Five? Those aren't real people! That doesn't count! Yeah, but we're just. Uh, hey! Stop! Give me that bat! Ah, uh, golf, yeah. Uh, Alright, guys. Uh, hey! What are you doing? We're yeah. watching that! Just started! Get him, boys! Uh, 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 uh. watching neither one of them programs. We're watching my show, Prancing with the Has-Been. Tonight's the season finale. 
Now get out of my way. Uh, uh, I don't want to watch that. Blade Man. It's only the number one rated show on TV. That doesn't mean it's good. It's good. Pterodactyl here. And today's how-to video is going to be on this here Jiffy Ice Drill or Ice Auger for drilling a hole in the ice. This one won't start, so I'm going to show you what to do because it won't start. And the reason it won't start is because it's been sitting and the carburetor needs to be cleaned out. If you shoot starting fluid in it, it'll run for a second and die. That tells me it ain't getting any fuel. So I'm going to show you how to fix the carburetor. All right, now this one's got a Tacomish AV520 motor on it. And it's got that Tacomish carburetor on it that uses that diaphragm. Now chances are this diaphragm is hard from sitting around. Now we don't want to take the whole carburetor off because then you got all them links and springs and everything. So it'd be easier just to take off this diaphragm cover and then we're going to take a peek inside. So you're going to need an offset screwdriver or a real short screwdriver to get in there. Now offset screwdriver works good. So you're going to want to remove these four screws. And get them loose and then take them four screws out. All right, now they use this diaphragm carburetor on snow blowers, two cycle, and four cycle on a lot of older Tacomish engines. And now look here. Depending on when it was made, the determines which way the gasket and diaphragm go. Now they're saying if you got a little F on the back of your carburetor, the gasket goes underneath and the diaphragm goes first. If you don't have an F, it goes like this. So let's take a look at our carburetor to see what it says. Our carburetor says F3. We're not worried about the three, we're just worried that it's got an F. That's all we're concerned about. So ours is gonna go like this when we go to put the new one on. So now I'm gonna pop the cover off. Check your uh, primer hose. If your primer hose is all rotted away, you can put a new one on. Now this one here has got like a plastic diaphragm cover. They made a metal one too. This one's stuck on there pretty good. Oh, look at that crappiness coming out of there. Oh, look at that nastiness. That's like two cycle oil that's just been sitting in there. Diaphragm, that's it's still soft. So let's peel her off and see. Oh yeah, look at that nastiness. That's why it wouldn't start. It looks like the gasoline evaporated and left behind the oil from the two cycle oil. But since we got her apart, we might as well just clean it and put a new diaphragm on. But like I said, this one is soft. If yours is hard as a carp, you're going to want to put a new one on. And as you can see, here's the diaphragm, here's the gasket, just like in that picture I showed you. So we're going to get some carb spray and spray this out. Now this is your needle here, your needle and seat. Whoa, look at that, it's spraying, whoa, spraying gas out, whoa, spraying gas out at me, whoa. So I think if we just clean this up, put a diaphragm in it, this will start. See now this is a lot easier doing it this way than trying to take that whole carburetor apart. Now if you want to replace that needle and seat, if yours is leaking gas, because this needle and seat is bad or it's got some dirt in it. And to take that out, you would just use a 930 seconds socket and you might have to grind it down a little bit to get it to fit up in that little pocket there. And that's how you would take out that needle and seat. We're not going to take this one out because it's good. This is what the kit looks like, a needle and seat kit. It's got a spring, the seat, the brass seat part. There's the rubber seat. 
And if you notice, this seat has a groove, a little ring on one side. And the other side is smooth. Now they make a tool, if you're a tool guy, they make this tool for removing the seat and for installing the seat. See how it's got a hook on the end? That's for digging the old seat out like a knitting needle. And then this end is for installing the seat. So when you install it with this tool, you want the smooth side towards the tool. You want to be able to see that ring. Because if you put it in upside down, it may leak. Now if you don't have the tool, you could use a drill bit. Now this is an 1164 drill bit. And what you can do is put the seat in, remember with the ring, ring going down. And then you take the shank of the drill bit to push it down in there. See? Would be nice if they give you instructions with this. Now years ago, you used to buy this seat and that rubber piece would be in there. But now they make you put it in. And if you don't know, you're gonna mess it up. Then the needle goes in. Then you can put the gasket on. Now this one doesn't want to fit on there. Oh, there it goes. And then the spring. And then that's how it is. That's how it should look when you go to install it in the carpet trader. If you choose to do that. We're not going to replace the needle and seat on this one. But if you did, that's how you would assemble it to put it in there. So... I'm going to get some carb spray and I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to put the diaphragm in and we're going to see if it'll start. See, this is a good way to get it started. Get the gasket and the diaphragm on and get the screws in there. That way it holds everything in place for you. So do you understand how this primer thing works? Pushing on that ball gives that a shot of air, which pushes on that diaphragm, which pushes on that needle, and that lets the gasoline in. But this thing was so, so uh, full of that old oil that when we were priming it and pushing on it, it wouldn't let the gas in. Because we had oil on this side of the cover and we had oil on the other side. So we had oil on both sides. So when you're pushing on it, it's just pushing against all that oil and it wasn't opening that needle valve to let the gas out. Because you might have been able to get it started if you could have washed, washed out some of that uh, nastiness that was in there. Okay, let's get this party started because we got to grill home and get some fish. Switch on. Choke. Make sure the gas vent's open. Primer, push, 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 push. All right, let's see what happens. Whoa! Hey, hey popped off! Yee let's not celebrate yet. Ah! It's gonna start. It's gonna start. There she goes. Give it a little gas. Here's a trout. Will it start? Come on. Probably flooded it. Ah! All right, I done took the screw out. Now when I pump on this primer, it should shoot gas out of there. See? So we're gonna flush that out. All 
I don't like the looks of the gas that this guy done poured in this auger. So I'm going to dump this gas out and I'm going to put my fuel in there. I don't know what he poured in there. He said it was fresh gas. Can't trust the customer. They're knuckleheads half the time. Tank comes off pretty easy. Just unslips out of there. Slips like slippers. I don't know. Looks a little cloudy. Even. Put this back in. Pretty sure there's supposed to be an O-ring on here. There ain't one in there. So I'm gonna put an O-ring on this needle. All right, I got an O-ring on there now. Now turn this in until it stops. Don't force it, because this has got a plastic needle. And I'm gonna back it out. That's a half. That's one. One and a half I'm gonna go. Put the tank back on. Real quick, like. Like I said, it just pops in there. That's simple. Now I'm going to get mine mixed. Because I know mine's fresh. Always use fresh fuel. If in doubt, dump it out. Give it some pumping. Give it some throttle. going two turns and you see I had good good throttle response when I did that now it doesn't run real smooth at high speed because we don't have it under a load so if I had some ice to drill through then we could really test it so you might want to take a screwdriver with you out there on the lake just in case you got to fine-tune that screw so there's all there is to drilling a hole in the ice and catching some fish and as always, there's your dinner. I'm gonna go get some dinner. I'm gonna go drill me a hole in the ice. Get me some fish if I don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning in this room. All right, Pa, it's getting late. I'm starting to get tired. I'm going to bed. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, Show's over anyway. Uh, you hear that, Pa? Who's she talking to? Who do you think he's talking to? His friends. Oh yeah. One, 
two. Ah! Oh, what are you doing, slippers? Yeah, what are you doing? Just reading my friends here, a story before bed. What are you guys doing? We're going to bed! Well, not in here with us. There's no room for you. Right, guys? Slippers, you got about two seconds to get you and your friends out of my bed, or you're all going to be sleeping outside. Whoa, whoa, lower your voice. You're scaring my friends here. It's okay. Guys, come on. I really don't mind sleeping on the couch. Guys, come on, it's cold out here. We're freezing.